So, we got our big old tooth bar here. And it nearly does not fit. Hey everyone, welcome to the Smith Farm Co-op. We got a tractor right here, that's a Kubota uh, L2502, and it's got a new package, and that's gonna go on the loader today. And I figure uh, we do a little video on how to put the teeth on the bucket right there. Come with me as we uh, do that real quick. So I guess we need to unbox this uh, new loader teeth that came from Kubota, so. Not double stacked, it looks like it got double stacked. Basically slips onto that front part of the loader and then uh, you got two bolts that we got to drill some holes for pretty big holes so I don't know if y'all saw that Rockwell just stole part of the packaging <laughs> so but uh, let's uh, put something underneath our bucket lower it down and uh, I'll move the camera and we'll start getting this put all together So, we got our big old tooth bar here. And it literally does not fit. This is day two of our uh, tooth install on our new Kubota uh, L2502. We had ordered uh, the TTB600 um, over the phone and uh called uh gene and matt tractor sales in winder georgia and uh they made it right and they got uh the new ttb645 uh for us we picked it up this morning so the main difference is the 600 is 60 inches and this uh one right here the 645 is 64.5 inches which fits our bucket. So let's uh, take a look real quick at what we got here. So the bucket right here is gonna attach right here. We gotta drill a hole through there. And same thing on this side. I've already taken out the bolts. They go right in here on either side. So let's go ahead and mark our holes. So let's go ahead and mark our uh, spot to drill. Uh, what we're gonna do, we got a couple size uh, drill bits. And what we're gonna do is gradually step them up to the bigger one. This is the bit for uh, yesterday's size bolts. So I hope they're the same. Um, I will let you know if uh, this three-fourths bit is the correct size um, in the comments below. Let's start doing this. So I do have my lo loader bucket locked so it can't go up or down, but for safety I went ahead and put something underneath this. Now it's time to pull this off so we can start drilling the holes.
fits right in. I'm gonna get some rags real quick and uh, some paint. We'll paint that up. All right, so we got a little Krylon, Krylon New Kubota Orange. We're gonna paint the insides of these just to keep it uh, from rusting too bad. So here we go. And I know there's a little overspray. I really don't want it anywhere but the inside the hole, so we'll wipe the rest off. Now this paint, it says it's Kubota orange. Um, it is off. It is not Kubota orange at all. Um, but we're gonna make do with what we got. It's only for the inside of the uh, holes right there. So, let's uh, lift this bar up real quick and see how she fits. All right, so we got one bolt right there. So we're going to tighten these on and uh, the tooth bar will be all set. All right, let's tighten these uh, bolts up. That's that one. All right. Well, we got our new uh, tooth bar installed. How about we go try it out a little bit? Put you on time lapse as I dig a little bit. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. It really does help uh, push these videos out to other people. Um, it may be something simple like this that helps another new person that has a brand new tractor and is trying to start their own homestead. Um, we all gotta work together in this community. Thank you all for watching. And uh, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.